Amazon on its way to disrupting another industry, buying online pharmacy PillPack. And that sent retail pharmacy stocks tumbling today. Or Bob Pisani is at the New York Stock Exchange with that story. Hey, Bob. Hello, Melissa. Amazon's acquisition of PillPack has resulted in the usual panic among healthcare investors. Amazon's invading. Pharmacy stocks like Walgreens, Rite Aid, CVS, look at this. <laughs> They're all down big today. But so are the drug wholesalers and the Kessens, the Cardinal Health, Amerisources. Look at these four, five, six percent declines. Even pharmacy benefit managers like Express Scripts were down a little bit. That's a little harder to figure out. Is this the end of the pharmacy business? Look, Amazon is going to move as quickly as possible to sell prescription drugs. That's very obvious. So there's certainly some risk to pure play pharmacies. But this is really a couple years out. The bigger worry, this is my opinion, is they could down the road subsidize lower drug prices to get market share. Remember, they did lower some food prices when they bought Whole Foods. That's a risk. Selling pharmacy benefit managers, nah, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me because they still have to play with them to get access to the drugs. Now, of course, everyone thinks that something else is going to happen. There's another shoe to fall, that after setting up a, a new nonprofit, remember that partnership they did with J.P. Morgan and Berkshire? There's got to be something coming, some stage two. That's what everybody's trying to figure out. So I guess PillPack could build out a larger mail-order prescription business. But again, that's down the road a bit. To a certain extent, you know, we've seen this movie before. Remember what happened when Amazon announced it bought Whole Foods? That was June 16, 2017. Look, I mean, all of the grocery stocks got destroyed. Kroger dropped 30%. I'm not kidding. In just a couple days around that, Costco even dropped 10%. And Walmart and Target, they were all down. But you look here, just all of these stocks have come round trip, and they're all back to their previous levels. So... The thinking is, and I think this is probably likely too, this will follow a similar pattern, at least initially, waves of selling followed by some recovery. Back to you, Melissa. All right, Bob, thank you. Bob Bassani at the NYSE. So we thought this might be a good time to roll out a brand new game. New game. New game. Yes, Fantastic. new game. We are calling this game Prime Deal or Amazon. The rules are very simple. Sounds like an old game. The rules are simple. We'll go around the horn on the pharmacy and drug distributor stocks. You tell us if you think today's price drop is a prime deal. In other words, you buy here at these levels. Or if it's been Amazon, meaning it's pretty much left for dead. Ah, Get it? Mm, Very I clear, so. right? Deny All right. It. Who's first? They got um, really show Tim us. is first. Oh. We kick it off with CVS, prime deal, or Amazon. Okay, a lot of pressure on me to play the game right. Um, I'm going to do this right. They are Amazon. And, and my view here is, look, a lot, of, a, a lot of discussion has gone into the whole retail pharmacy space. Um, I think there's a new model. I think there's a new reimbursement model. I think the Aetna deal is positive for these guys. I think the retailization of healthcare actually could be good for these guys. But I tell you what, you cannot compete with Amazon in this space. And I think, forget drugs, people are not going to CVS for a lot of the other stuff that they're buying on Amazon. So it continues. Isn't that bigger part of their business, the PBM part of the business and mail, and mail order drugs? I forget the split now, okay. though, with Aetna than, you know, that's a, right. a different business, but that'll be more drug focused. I, I agree with Tim on this. I think, though, that, that the problem here isn't even so much Amazon, because this is a tiny thing. It's more that the opacity in the business, in the PBM business, oh. has been ridiculous, right? right. That's, that's what's going to be changing. Dan, did you understand that's the word opacity? Amazon, just in case you did. It's I, complex, yeah. Dan. <laughs> <laughs> he understands opacity. Sorry. I can so, see right through. So is there a level of regulatory <laughs> risk involved for the I PBMs? Think so. yeah. I think so. Even if it's not regulatory, just Mark if Dan. that, it, I think it's evolving that way. Transparency has to come. It cannot be good for the PBM. All right. The next one is Rite Aid and Karen's turn. Yes. Mm. Uh, okay. Prime Deal or Amazon? Okay, Amazon. Wow. Ironically, okay. they're merging with Albert, Albertsons, but they may not. That's sort of up in the air whether or not shareholders approve that. They're also Albert, uh, Amazon. So, and they're merging and they got a lot of debt. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, and you got the, the, they have the, the drug part of it. The same story. Amazon. Yeah, yeah she double Amazon. Yeah. 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 Double, yeah. Yeah. double yeah. Amazon. I mean, do you agree with this on Rite Aid? Yeah. <laughs> I knew you wow, were going to say color. that. <laughs> All right, we're going to move color. on here. So Walgreens is the next stock. This is WBA's term. This is, of course, the newest Dow stock. Prime Deal or Amazon for WBA? BK. You know what? I'm, I'm going to be a contrarian. I'm going to say Prime Deal. Ooh, you buy it here. So I think there's an opportunity for them to 
shift their business and actually be your local convenience store. Yes, they're going to get hurt on the drugs. That, that is, there's no question. But that's what this sell-off today was about. So I'm talking about a short-term type of trade here, not two years. I don't know what's going to happen to these guys in two years. But I think today was overdone, and there's opportunity here, so you prime it. But BK, isn't this the exact same chart as Rite it's Aid the and same CBS? same as all of them, I mean, absolutely. I'm, I'm trying to understand what's different well, well, you nobody have, asked me about the other ones. You would have said so. prime deal for, you would have I said prime said deal prime for the deal other ones. ones. It's the same theme. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, so I don't know why. I feel like we know what Dan's going to say. No, you but don't. But Dan is up next. But he's complex. Cardinal, so. He is complex. He's there Sometimes. right now. Cardinal Health, Prime Deal or Amazon? Amazon. But it's a bit nuanced for a complex guy like me. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why here. Well, first things first, you know about all my ailments, right? And if you use a specialty pharma company, <laughs> what we were just talking mean? about. We so. all and why does Karen know. We all, all of us we were discussing it. Oh, if you, if you, no, if you I, guys you get routine drugs yeah. from these things, you realize that it, it is just a really uh, not a user-friendly experience. And I think Amazon sees that as the opportunity to go and fix that because we're all really conditioned um, to buy things. The only thing I'll say is this, is that you know, Cardinal Health is a company that's going to have $130 billion in sales, and they have like 5% gross margins on those sales. You know, Jeff Bezos famous, famously was like, his comment was, their margin is my opportunity. This is a scale thing for them, and I think they want to disrupt this entire business. So I don't think it's going to be such an easy one for Amazon, but it's going to be very disruptive for these companies because they cannot afford to have earnings pressure. And you know what? Let me just tell you that this is the first down year in EPS um, for Cardinal right. in the last few years. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.